saying good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me here. Oh this is like the equivalent of this is like royalty to We Are Austin. Awesome. Uh, 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 you have no idea. You don't even know. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, well, I bet we you have do. talked to him. Uh, and the two Austin break. people started the Fan Fest Society, which celebrates Gilmore Girls, oh, and is every year out in Connecticut with a little uh, gazebo and yeah. and the leaves changing. It's oh, gorgeous. Fun. Yeah. The it's vibe great. is all there. Now we got to talk about this book. So the memoir kind of delves into your writing career, but specifically the women that you've worked with. And I think anybody who knows these shows in particular, I mean, it's the Golden Girls and Gilmore Girls yeah. and Amy, Amy Sherman Palladino. Mm -hmm. and yeah. I mean, they have assembled some of the most iconic women to, to ever play characters on television mm -hmm. and be written for. What was that like? Tell us a little bit more about this book. Frightening. Frightening, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Intimidating, I was a to say the least. child <laughs> when I was on Golden Girls, and it was very frightening because I'd grown up watching B. Arthur and Betty White on yeah. uh, Mary Tyler Moore, and then suddenly I'm in a room writing for them. Oh my and God. luckily, I did not know this at the time, but B. Arthur was not happy when she saw us because she's like, Who are these little babies writing <laughs> for us older women? Right. And then she opened the script and she's like, They got it. Okay. <laughs> An old and then soul. Every interview, I've never had this on another show. Always the four actresses said, it's the writing, the writing, the writing. Oh, that's and awesome. so I'm so grateful for them. That's yeah, incredible. That's um, so special. Yeah, I love how you said that. It's, yeah. you know, you're an old soul, I guess. You just yes. got in there, yeah. Yeah, and okay, so you say that a random idea led to your first writing credit on Golden Girls. Can you tell us well, more? Yeah. Uh, well, we had written many spec scripts. The first was a Cheers that kind of threw us over into, uh, everybody started noticing us. We've written four and we were like ignored, ignored, ignored. And then mm -hmm. this one script kind of did it. Yeah. And then we went into pitch and we pitched a bunch of ideas, hated all of them. Walking out the door of the office and in the door jam, something came over me and I turned around and I said, what if Rose's mother came to visit? <laughs> and I thought they were going to call security, but they oh. said, no, come back and sit down. This is a good idea. Yeah. And we started working out the story, and we got a freelance episode, and they really liked the first draft, which is hard to find writers to write a first draft. Yeah. And get, get on staff for the first season. Yeah. So there we were, these kids in these rooms, talking about what should we call the city where Rose lives, going through phone books, St. Olaf's. Yeah. <laughs> and there we were in history I watching it. I love that. That's amazing. Oh. I just saw the episode, by the way, where all of the women travel to St. Olaf to, to where Rose gets her award, her humanitarian award, uh, Woman of the Year award. Uh, but uh, St. Olaf is in now in the lexicon. Mm -hmm. Like you yes. say that and you absolutely know. You know. What did that show in writing for these women and then also those women and their friendship teach you about self-love mm, and friendship? Yeah. Um, I mean, I always watched my mother, my grandmother, my sister, and they were such smart, brilliant women. And I think that's why I could write for them. And that same kind of relationship, obviously, with Gilmore Girls. Yeah. Yeah. It was the same kind of setup. And I was always gravitated towards women as my friends from a very young age. Mm -hmm. And it's just kept going through Roseanne uh, and even through my friend Ellie Willis, who the reason I'm in Austin, uh, there was a documentary, The World According to Ellie Willis, and she wrote a few songs like the theme song from Friends oh, yes. and Earth, Wind and & Fire, yeah. and there's one more screening tonight, and I just love being here at the festival. Yeah, wow, we love very, having very you, cool. and I gotta say, just yeah. your your background, your family, the love that you, you received from your grandmother, mother, sister, like, you can clearly see that in these shows, mm -hmm. and that wit and that talent that comes from within you and that love that surrounds you, because we all know and love Golden Girls and Gilmore Girls, yeah. so it's like it's it's a it's a precious um, prize that you've yeah. given to us, a gift that you've given to all of well, us. I feel they've given can't... it to me. Oh, I love that. I, yeah. I only have to give it forward. Yeah. But also, in the book, deals with you know disappointments in career, yeah. dealing with grief. Like my friend Allie passed, my mother mm -hmm. passed two and a half years ago, and that so kind of became the end of my book. Yeah. Uh, not realizing that was going to be the end and that uh, she was my one true golden girl. Mm, oh, that is amazing. So beautiful. It's incredible. And it's, I love to, we're going to jump into a game. Of yeah. course, you and your game. I do want to say, though, I think games. it's so cool. That I want to see bats. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, oh, that's the last We got to make that happen. Okay. All right. So you okay. pass that. Okay. And we have, so what we you. have here, if you're up for it, it's a game that's called um, Golden or Gilmore. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> so we've pulled some quotes from the Golden Girls and Gilmore Girls, and we're all going to guess which okay. show the quote is from. Okay. I'm sure you are ready for this. Uh, we consider ourselves very big fans, but the pressure of live TV, please don't judge us. Don't say we're not fans because we're ready. I we're feel ready like you're going to gonna win. I don't know. I don't know. I, I choke. I, I choke. Stan, okay. I choke. I, okay. I always okay. choke. Here's the first one, and none of us know the answers. All right. Number okay. one, crying is for plain women. Pretty women go shopping. That sounds like Blanche. No? I oh. cheated. I looked at his first. <laughs> 
Oh, that's Emily. That's got to be. No, it's Blanche. You were right. <laughs> My soul knows. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, maybe. Well, are you, are yourself, you Blanche? Okay, okay. You are Blanche, a little bit. This one, Trevor okay. and I, we know this one. Oh, this is yeah. a jumbo coffee morning. I need coffee in an IV. That is, that is Lorelei. That all is 100% Gilmore. Oh, that Lorelei. is good. All right, all right. Yeah, we all win one? that, yeah. Oh, do you know how many great late night talks we've had at this kitchen table over cheesecake? Oh, oh. our golden girls. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I got that one wrong. And you know they didn't, didn't like cheesecake. Did they, they have to pretend? Them. Neither? Yeah. Any of them? To pretend? No. <laughs> so you'll see them picking at it, but they but don't actually really eat, it. eat it. Yeah, would you oh, want to eat it? I yes. Okay. Uh, that would be trouble for me, cheesecake I think, is uh, so to, so for a job <laughs> as, as my work. All right, Chelsea, what's the next All one? All right, so if you're going to throw your life away, you better have a motorcycle. That sounds definitely like Gilmore Girls. That sounds weird. Is that an Emily Gilmore? Gilmore. Yeah, there we go. All right. Well, Gosh, these half are those yeah. lines don't make sense. Yeah. 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 Out of context. That shows especially. it's a Gilmore one. <laughs> right, that's yeah. true. All right, one more. Okay. My books look sad. Can books look sad? That's definitely Rory. Yeah, 100% <laughs> right? Rory. Yes, oh, we're correct. That is, that is Gilmore. Stan, congratulations. Here yes. is this amazing Thank book. Um, where can we get it? How can we read uh, it? Amazon anywhere. Yeah. Uh, but there's also really some fun stories about Roseanne. I'm sure oh, you have. Uh, Roseanne. And Roseanne. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm sure you all want to know all the craziness that went on. And it's all true. Oh, I love it. And it's all okay. true. And before You're we let delight. you go, because I know that there's so many Gilmore Girl fans out there as well. In this book, do we find out? Who's the father baby is? It, yes. Well, I just learned you're Team Logan. <laughs> I am yes. 100%. So why don't you and I go with Team Logan? <laughs> <laughs> and it's Shelby. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. And for more videos like this, check out our We Are Austin playlist.